Today I fucked up, by losing my BF's cat soon after we moved in together. This happened almost 10 years ago now but it still gives me chills thinking about it. So my BF and I were in Eldia for around 5 years. He lived in Kali and I in GA. Eventually we got to a financial situation to where we could move in together. I moved from GA to Kali. At the time he had his first cat that he adored. I think he had the cat at least a year by then. Anyways I get moved in but I needed to do laundry. I was used to having a washer and dryer in home but at our wrapped complex we had to go outside and use the pay washer and dryer. So I'm getting all my stuff together and my hands are full with laundry stuff. I pull the front door closed but apparently it didn't catch. Also why are screen doors not a thing in Kali? All the door slowly opened up unbeknownst to me. It was open a good 5 to 10 minutes. When I got done putting on the wash I found the door wide open. I run in screaming for the cat BCS I thought for sure he had run away. I call and call for him but nothing. So I go outside looking for him but find nothing. I go back inside and have to wait 4 hours till my BF got off work to tell him I'd lost his cat. When my BF gets home I'm on the verge of tears telling him his cat has gone. He's like no he's not gone he's just hiding. I swear if that cat didn't just trot right out of the bedroom as soon as my BF called to him. My heart sank to my intestines with relief to see that cat. We eventually got another cat and a baby fence to block the front door so they can't just walk out. That cat would go on to be our baby. We just lost him back in Jan to cancer. He was the goodest and bestest boy you could ever ask for. We both miss him dearly. TL, doctor accidentally left front door open and thought cat escaped. Derp cat was hiding in the app the whole time. Edit, thanks guys for all the awards. It's so sweet of you. Cat Dax? Our dog laid happily in our neighbor's driveway watching us search and call for her with increasing panic for about 10 minutes on Sunday. Bitch. Just FYI cats can jump 5 plus feet in the air. My cat can bend the fabric of space-time. Oh fuck, I thought you stuffed him into the washing machine thank god. Today I fucked up by chasing a girl by accident. So this was a few years ago and a recent post brought the memory back. I'm fairly tall, bald and bearded and have been told I am intimidating to look at, relevant later. After a uni class, I went back to a friend's for a smoke. A few hours later, I'm fairly baked and begin my walk home. It's pitch black and my paranoia was kicking up a storm so I sped up to get home as quickly as possible. At one point, I am walking along a dark street and there is a girl in front of me. No issue, I try to speed up to overtake her but as I get close she speeds up and pulls away. Confused as to why she is walking so fast. I attempt to overtake again. Same thing happens. She begins to look behind her every so often and this freaks me out. What is she running from? My paranoia kicks in harder and now I am constantly looking behind us for what we are running from. The idea that she is being chased just pushes me further into paranoia and again I try to speed up to overtake her and outrun whatever is behind us. As I get close, she speeds up. Whatever is behind her is obviously terrifying and deserves to be run away from. This happens a few more times. At one point, both of us are power walking along this street. Terrified of what is behind us when it hits me. It's me. I'm what she is running away from. I stop dead, pull my phone out and sit on a wall, all the whole kicking my stoned little mind for concocting a terrifying monster while this girl is running for her life. Too long didn't read, got stoned, chased a girl while thinking we were being chased. Holy shit nice. I looked back to see what was chasing us. Boat today I fucked up. I read this exact story at least 3 years ago. Exactly word for word. This is a repost, but the original was hilarious to me so I get it lol. Either that or I just got deja vu'd the fuck out of by some douche Loki equivalent laughing his ass off up in the clouds I n. Lol. The best part is. Had you actually been faster than her, you would have overtaken her and she would have been hella confused as you zoomed past her. There is definitely a timeline where she trips and falls and you just keep running. 
here's mine. At an ATM in a fairly unsafe neighborhood a few blocks from a show I'm going to with one, maybe two other girls. A guy is walking away from ATM as we pull up. He gets in his car but doesn't leave. We finish our transaction and drive away. He follows. We drive to the bar. He follows. We pull into the parking lot. He follows. We park and get the F out as fast as possible. He follows. As we run walking he shouts his explanation from a few feet behind us. I'm not trying to scare you. I was just watching to make sure you were safe at the ATM. I'm going to the show too so it looks like I'm following you. Exclamation mark. That sounds like something I do accidentally. Trying to make things better but ending up making things worse. Here is mine. I was going for a jog, and ahead of me on the street was a female jogger. She seemed to be going slightly faster, so NBD. As I was running, this random dog ducked out of a neighbor's yard. It looked very confused, and was wandering around as if it was scared. The dog was between myself and the woman. I said hey, to the dog. Come here. The dog looked at me with its ears perked up. Encouraged, jogging, I made some whistling sounds, then clicked my teeth to try to get it to come over. Dog walked off, right away. When I looked up, the woman had stopped jogging, had turned around, and was staring at me with disgust. She thought all those animal sounds were for her. She crossed the street and ran away. Good workout. See you tomorrow. Today I fucked up by not closing the incognito tab after watching porn. Update, a lot of people were asking me to give an update so here it is. Last night my dad and mom came into my room late at night and sat beside me and my dad told me that I was a total disappointment for getting caught two times. They gave me the talk about how porn is not real sex and how its addiction can ruin me. Also how excessive masturbation can cause different problems like the most common being ed. I told them that I understand all of this and I am not addicted to it I watch it rarely and I also don't masturbate on daily basis. They said that they still believe that's a bad thing but they also know that I am not religious anymore so they won't tell that to me. Then mom said that she did all of this only because my grandparents, aunt and cousin were present and if she had let go me then she would have been lectured for good parenting and that my dad would also be lectured on that and would got my complaints as soon as he reached home and he didn't wanted to deal with this. My mom gave me back my stuff and said to act like that I am still punished. So everything turned out differently than I expected but at the end I got my stuff back and what does swachi or sauce means? People are asking like crazy. Also I don't have the link but it was vanilla. I don't remember it either. Backslash. This is the most embarrassing and worst fuck up of my life. So I am a 17 year old guy and today I was masturbating and watching porn in my room. I usually use incognito mode because I don't want that thing in my timeline. So as I was watching and beating my meat, my phone started ringing and it was my dad's call and my dad wanted to talk to my grandpa but his phone was switched off so he called on mine. The video paused automatically when the call came. I didn't close the tab because after searching for a lot of time I got a good video to watch. So I just switched it from incognito to the normal one and went to hand over the mobile to my grandpa so that he could talk. I was waiting beside him till he was done talking to my dad because I had almost reached the climax before my dad called me. Call got over and my grandpa was about to hand over the phone the video started playing even though I had switched the tab and this was not the starting scene where they talk it was the orgasm one where the woman was moaning at the top of her lungs. This all happened in the kitchen and along with grandpa. Grandpa, my mom, grandma, aunt and cousin were present. Everybody was shocked and turned red, I immediately took it and closed the tab and after that my mom snatched the phone from my hand and grounded me. Now I am sitting in my room and everything is confiscated my phone and my PC till the 13st of May until my exams get over. Now I am writing this with help of my old laptop which was in the closet for a long time. Also I have to face my dad at night. Wish me luck cause this laptop is also gonna be taken away cause my dad knows about. So take away advice for my fellow teenagers who are reading this, no matter how great the porn video is or how much time you spent searching for it remember to destroy every single evidence of it if your family is like mine. Too long didn't read, I didn't close the incognito tab where I was watching porn and everybody in my family heard the orgasm of porn star and now I am grounded. Edit, I am getting a lot of messages so it's hard to reply to everyone and thanks for bringing to my notice it's 13th. 
I was gonna write first because my important papers will be over by that time but the I realized that my actual exam will be over on 13th. 17 watching 18 plus material. I'm calling the FBI pal. Your life is over. Why didn't you finish and call him back after? He should still finish it while he is still in the possession of a laptop with an internet connection haha <laughs> tongue. When I was 21 my parents went out of town and asked me to house sit. This was 1995 and we had dial up internet access through the college I went to and my dad worked at. I decided to watch some porn on their desktop computer. I was also writing a 60 page paper for my senior thesis. The porn crashed the computer beyond repair taking the final draft of my thesis with it I had saved the prior draft to a floppy disk. My dad was vice president of IT at the college. He had two of his employees help help him to try to recover the computer. They were not able to recover it but they did find out what crashed it. Luckily my dad backed the computer up every month on floppy disks. But he had to have a conversation with me about how I crashed his computer. Not only did I use his dial up connection and login, which kept track of sites visited in case of criminal activity, but I crashed his computer which cost $1000 to replace. This is better fuck up than mine. If this is the worst fuck up of your life so far I'd say you're doing fine. I had fucked up much worse by the time I was 17. Remember, this is the worst fuck up of your life so far. 